guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I wanted to talk today about heavy metals and essential uh, minerals. Uh, and in particular, I wanted to talk about zinc and cadmium. Um, now, zinc is an essential mineral. It's, um, it's, a, it's a trace element. It's required in very small amounts, in milligram amounts in the human uh, diet. It, um, it's, in, it's involved as a cofactor in many enzymes and it has many functions uh, in humans. Um, you need a certain amount in your diet. Um, the exact amount will vary depending on, uh, you know, your um, your physical activity, your genetics, um, what else is in your diet, because minerals interact. The divalent cations, um, which zinc is one, um, they tend to interact, and therefore if you have more of one and less of another, you tend to get absorption uh, changes. So the exact amount you need in your diet. Uh, is not known and it will vary um, between people but it was somewhere around 10 to 15 milligrams per day uh, would be um, a, you know a, a typical zinc intake um, cadmium is a heavy metal um, and cadmium um, levels as they rise in your body uh, can be dangerous they can cause uh, they can cause side effects they can uh, cadmium can interfere with metabolic pathways and in particular, what heavy metals tend to do is they tend to knock um, essential minerals off their enzymes. Uh, the, the essential minerals will be uh, locked onto enzymes as cofactors where the charge that they have will allow the enzyme to take a particular shape. The heavy metal will knock the essential nutrients, the essential mineral off that enzyme. It will take its place, but because it has a different charge and it's a different mineral, uh, the protein, the enzyme will then change shape and therefore it will lose its function. And this is how heavy metals interfere with metabolic pathways and how they interfere with our biochemistry. Now, Zinc and cadmium are interesting because um, those people with the highest intakes of zinc tend to have the lowest urinary concentration of cadmium, which indicates that as your zinc intake goes up, um, your cadmium absorption uh, likely decreases. Um, and this is not this is not unusual. Essential minerals quite often do compete with heavy metals for absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. So if you have an optimal intake of zinc and as, as well with other essential uh, uh, minerals, uh, you can actually decrease your absorption of heavy metals, which may have uh, uh, detrimental effects on your metabolic pathways. Um, and there was a paper that I will put the link to uh, in the comments box below this video. Uh, that looked at the association between zinc intakes and cadmium levels in the urine of a group, a population of um, subjects. And for every 10% increase in dietary uh, zinc levels, there was a 0.46% uh, reduction uh, in the urinary concentration of cadmium. Um, so that's that's quite interesting. Uh, it, it backs up what other nutritional uh, studies have shown that those people with optimal levels of essential minerals in their diet uh, may have uh, less uh, absorption. Uh, they may have less uh, buildup in their tissues of particular heavy metals. Um, and this is this is this is obviously interesting because most people think of heavy metals as being um, the uh, the toxins that can actually prevent the absorption of minerals but it works the other way as well if you have high intakes of the essential minerals you can actually block the absorption of the heavy metals so these these interactions work both work both ways and this is another reason why a high quality diet containing all the essential vitamins and minerals uh, in the balanced amounts that you require them this is another reason why it provides you with good health because not only does it provide you with uh, the optimal function of your tissues it can actually act as a barrier to stop the absorption of particular environmental toxins causing uh, detrimental effects on your metabolic pathways um, now you Obviously, if you know that you're going to be exposed to certain heavy metals, you can increase uh, intakes of certain uh, minerals um, and you can and you can uh, if you know the interactions, you can obviously um, uh, you can you can play with this in your in your diet and you can increase your, for example, your zinc intake. Uh, if you knew that, for example, that you were being exposed to cadmium. So this is the sort of thing that uh, is quite interesting. Um, the fact that, uh, that that zinc is uh, is required uh, in in quite large amounts, really, it's uh, you know ten to fifteen milligrams is a is a conservative estimate of of what uh, the intake should be. Certain people require 
higher amounts than that. Uh, and another interesting finding in this study was that those people that took supplements, uh, and uh, that there was there were a number of people that took supplements. Those people that took supplements, um, there was actually a dose response and a time response uh, with regard to the amount of cadmium that was in the urine. So if you took supplements for longer, zinc supplements for longer, you would have lower amounts of cadmium in your urine. And if you took higher amounts of zinc supplements, um, you would also have lower uh, amount. Uh, um, lower amounts of cadmium in your urine. So dietary supplementation with zinc also appears to be effective against um, the absorption of cadmium. Now this is not the only interaction, there are other interactions. Um, mercury for example will also interact with zinc uh, and those people that for example have um, mercury fillings uh, probably have a higher requirement for zinc because some of that mercury will be absorbed to their body and it will it will interact with zinc in the metabolic pathways it will interact with zinc in the in the gastrointestinal tract uh, and therefore uh, your requirement for zinc will increase but if you increase your zinc intake through the use of supplements or through a high zinc diet you can actually prevent the absorption of some of that mercury now i've always recommended to people that they don't have mercury fillings uh, and if you have mercury fillings that you have them removed um, but if you do have them and you want to minimize the, da the damage having a high quality diet with a, with the correct balance and the correct ratio of all the, the essential nutrients essential minerals in your diet uh, will actually go a long way to protecting you from the damaging effects of those uh, of that of, of that mercury uh, and the same is true for other heavy metals such as lead as well um, so I hope that was interesting I put the I'll put the link to the paper uh, in the comments box below uh, this video uh, remember to eat well stay healthy and protect yourself and I'll see you soon for another video please take care <laughs>